You may wonder how these movies are made in Bollywood and then in Hollywood. Well, we have to first write the script. So a playwright is an important part of this scheme of things. And uh, we have here a teacher by name Mark Weston. How do you teach that to a lay person? We use a, an example uh, that was given to me by my teacher. His name is Dwight Taylor. His mother was a great actress named Lorette Taylor. Uh, Dwight wrote uh, uh, a few Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers movies like Top Hat and wow. such. And uh, he gave me the noun, this exercise, which I understand from Dwight that F. Scott Fitzgerald used too. And so, oh, I also learned later Ernest Hemingway did it too. Oh, they are pretty big names. They were pretty good. If it was good enough for Hemingway and Fitzgerald, I, I'm not going to argue. I've always said that actors who have been in the business long enough, they, they acquire an ear for dialogue through the memorization, the productions, the uh, re uh, rehearsals. And to waste that ability to write good dialogue is a sin. Well, let's hear some of the creative pieces your students have done in the class. I, I'd like that. I mean, he, he thinks he's James Bond and, and he just won the lotto like three weeks ago. You think he'd buy uh, some other type of cigar with his broke ass. I mean, it smells like burnt toast. <laughs> I wonder if he knows that uh, Sarah just spent three hours in the toilet from diarrhea. I see an unhappy person. Who? You are very unhappy with your life. Uh, excuse me, I happen to be very happy with my life. Okay, okay, so I'm not thrilled with the way things are going right now, but... Silence! Exactly 2.45 in the morning, there was Eureka. He came upon a plan. On their next date, acting in a very solemn way, David told Dorothy that he had a secret confession to make. A secret confession? Please, David, tell me. I, I don't know how to tell you the fact is, Dorothy, but despite my outward behavior, I really don't have feelings for girls. You don't? She had no reason to say no. Believe it or not, black girls do start out innocent. When you two broke up, I gave her a shoulder to cry on. And that's when I found out she was one of those girls who held on to her adolescent dream of giving her virginity to the man she would marry. And when that didn't happen... She was destroyed. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt your menage a trois. You got it. I'm indisposed with Ben and Jerry. <laughs> yeah, chubby hubby. I turn on the remote to watch American Idol. It's smooth. And then, smack, we could hear the bat hit the ball. It's Joe DiMaggio. He's rounding third. Home run! Ah. Wow! Rain, rain, go away. Little Johnny wants to play. Resting my forehead on the window pane, it's cool. And rained up, drop slide, slowly down like tears on my cheek. Gray sky gently weeps and whispers, it's okay to cry. Hey, Mom. Mmm. Smells good. Fish curry. Something wrong? You mad at me? You know. Don't you play naive with me. You brought such a shame. Shame? Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Writing is uh, food for the immune system because with the pen, you are releasing frustrations and feelings. And I am very proud of everybody you heard today. Uh, whatever you heard for uh, today was the real people. They uh, they tapped in, and that's a blessing. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I'm glad you are on my show. <laughs> Until the next episode, salam. <laughs>